And finally, for the most, and of course, exceptional, juicy news making rounds inside of the world of entertainment, we're going to be looking at the recent Hedy's Awards. And I am not alone here today because I have somebody with me, the delectable, the beautiful Fei Fei in the house. Good to have you here. The last time we were in frames. Yeah. You were? I can't yeah. remember. Okay, it was you another color, actually. So, okay, like, I kind of changed it. So. Good that you're here because today we're going to talk about the headies. So much to talk about when it comes to the headies. I have so many things. To... <laughs> I'm holding it in. But first, let me let them know. Now, the 16th Headies Award took place in Atlanta once again in Georgia on Sunday, September 3rd. That was on Sunday for the second consecutive time this year. Now, since its inception in 2006, the Headies is a music award show uh, established in 2006 to recognize outstanding achievements in the music industry in Nigeria. Now, the annual ceremony featured performances by um, established uh, um, uh, and promising artists. Um, now, the Hedy's Night, I mean, what's it without Afro legends bagging different wins and so. So let's start with looking at some of these wins. We're going to start first off. Let me pause there for a minute before I start by calling out the winners. Fefe, what's up with the headies being held for the second time outside of Nigeria in Atlanta, Georgia, where I cannot go because I cannot afford a ticket right now? What's going on here? Hmm. So, yeah, you see that question you just asked mm. me. The first time I was thinking maybe they're trying to, you know, globalize, probably, you know, somehow, globalize some kind of Afrobeat yeah, movement, you know, trying to test waters or something. Mm -hmm. And the second time again, and I'm asking, What's really going on? Mm. Like, why? You don't see BET, uh, the Grammys, mm -hmm. bring their there award show Africa. to Africa. Exactly. So why take yours there? What are, who are you trying to please? Like, who are you trying to impress? I don't know about you, but I think kind of like took something away because some or most of the winners or nominees were not even at the event. Maybe because of scheduling conflicts, but again, when you take it outside of Nigeria, where most of them are residents, you would have that kind of a problem. So I don't know if it is adding to the quality. It, it, they say the sound production was fantastic, great. I, I like that. But then how about bringing that level of expertise back to Nigeria and hosting these awards here so that everybody's a part of it? And instead of just, you know, making it some... You know Which is possible. You talked about the yeah. sound and all of those kind mm -hmm. of things. It is actually possible. You can get a good sound system yeah. here in Nigeria. You get me? Yes, the artists are out there, but trust me, um, there have been some kind of little, little talks here and there about the head is not being so credible and stuff like oh. that. Right? So if it is, um, I guess it's like sometimes when these artists don't show up and stuff like that, it's probably due to lack of trust credibility oh, and stuff like that, that well. so yeah. if it's a credible award if it's an award that you okay the people so. have trust in and stuff like that like there's this um i don't know how to put it but let's just use the word credibility mm, i'm sure it. people it's our indigenous award it is ours yeah why won't you show up indigenous but outside of nigeria in any case <laughs> let's start with the maven star rema who was the biggest winner of the night going home with three awards he was the recipient of the prestigious Best Male Artist, Digital Artist of the Year, and also African Artist of the Year Award. Digital Artist of the Year, yes, that one I can see because, yeah. I mean, you tell me first. Let me just let you, what, what did okay. you think about his three gongs? I, I, I liked it um, because over time, Rema has grown. Like, it's vivid. It's not something that you say, oh, maybe, no, it's mm. vivid. He's a global force. You hear his song being played in stadiums outside of Nigeria and Europe. He's big in India. Which is, I mean, something... To think that when he first started, there were, like, talks of, he sounds like an Indian, like ah. he sounds Indian. -y, gonna... well, it's, it's his it... mesmerizing form of music. It's actually quite mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. He has this thing that, you know, he had a very interesting speech um, at the awards while accepting some of his awards. Uh, it, it's, it, can, can we take a listen to this and see? Let's take a listen. Because of the awards, I'm here because it's important to support our institutions. Yeah. And um, when I say institutions, I mean like, you know, the bodies that support you to be able to achieve this major successes, you get me? Um, the media houses, the awards, you know. I feel like we are in a very sensitive period. Wow. All I can say is that Rema has grown. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Great. 
Well, he wasn't the only winner of the evening. Other winners include Ashake with two gongs, including the coveted Next Rated Award and also Album of the Year. Album of the Year, yes, Mr. Mr. Money, of course. Yes. You had to give it to him. Yeah. His music is a global force. I cannot explain how I got indoctrinated into his music, but I am a disciple. And I'm not that kind of a guy, quite frankly. But I love his music. What did you think, anyhow? Uh, I, I, I think he's, he deserves it, right? Because... Ashake is it. Mm. Like, I literally jam. You know where you listen to, a, to an album and no skip? Mm -hmm. Like, I know every yep. single word yep, of the album. Listen. So, yep. yes, please, yeah. <laughs> give it to him. Love it. Burner Boy also, he wasn't present, but Burner Boy also picked up the song of the year for the uh, hit single, Last Last, and also the best R&B single for the song, For My Hand, uh, featuring Ed Sheeran. Um, Burner has a new album out, however. Yep. Um, it's a very quiet new album. I don't know if I'm the only one who sees it so. It, it didn't reverberate quite as much as Twice as Tall. Mm -hmm. Am I correct or am I wrong? You, you are not wrong. And I'll say you're not wrong because um, it's showing like it's in the atmosphere. People mm. are talking and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm not one to like just take a quick listen and that's it. Mm -hmm. Like that's, I'll just give my own judgment or stuff mm -hmm. like that. I love to soak it in, like Let take my time. Just same way, just like Whiskey's album, um, uh, what's it called? Made in Lagos. Mm -hmm. A lot of, uh, what, what kind of no, album? No, no, Made in Lagos was a banger. Was a was, banger but you know, at first, listen, the actually. first day, I yeah, loved I, it. I, I liked it from first listening. I loved it from the first listening. But guess what? People were talking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But guess, after like a few weeks or so, mm -hmm. they're doing numbers and some great stuff. Yeah. The tongues changed. What was not so great was David O's uh, last album. But yeah. then still, yeah, it's, it's not that bad. Now, other big winners of the night include best rap single, uh, Declan Rice by Odumodu Black. Rookie of the Year, also Odumodu Black. I do not understand certain things that happen in the world of music. <laughs> Odumodu Black, best rapper. I thought the rappers were like people like M.I., you know, Ice Prince and the rest is and everything. Odumodu Black's kind of rap is very indigenous. Yeah. It's very... I don't know what to say, but people love it. Yeah. What, it, it's like... It's something we can relate to. <laughs> it's, it's different from the... Sorry, it's different from the Eminem. You know, we, we grew Eminem, up Eminem. with... We grew up with... Oh, when they say rap, you see, you think it's something like... You just start talking first. Hello. Well, you know kind of uh -huh. stuff. But he brought it to, like, to us, like, you know... I'm talking to I'm you. I'm talking to I'm you. I'm letting you know I will still speak happened. my bars. Do you yeah, say what exactly. I want to say? I will speak my bars. Exactly what Basically. it is. So I was, I was very impressed by that one, actually. And um, I've been listening to his music for the past couple of months. Yeah, not bad. I like oh, it. It's very, Niger very Nigerian. Very uh, Nigerian. Best street hip-hop artist, uh, Chance Naeem by Shea Vibes. Vocal performance, female uh, in between uh, by Waje. Waje is making, is Waje making a comeback. Would I, would I call that a comeback? She's not the only one. Um, I think uh, One Day Cole as well. For best vocal performance, uh, Petpasu. Yeah. He's been gone for about 10 years. At least 10 years. At most 10 years. But to find that he is also making a comeback into Nigerian music, what, what's your thought on that? Uh, for me, um, first of all, you see that Petpasu? It's a hit. I don't know why. Um, I, like, I, I expected more buzz from the song, but it's a hit. Mm -hmm. The Olamide and, and um, the Wandako mm -hmm. vibe, like it's, it's out of this world. Yeah. So. Yes, so that one. Yes, and again, Wandeko is still king. You can't take it away. Like, really? the voice is evergreen. Like, <laughs> really? No, to be honest, like, for one day, if you check the one day of now, he's still doing the reefs and runs that he's still... I feel that you. He, you get, so, I like, he's you. still king. Man. That's fantastic. Listen, Pepe, we can't take too much. We're going to go through all of them, but we can't right now. But thank you very much for joining to help thank you review you the so headies. Much. Let's hope next year they bring it back to Nigeria so that we can at least see because our schedule. It's only because of our schedule. Our schedule won't let us go. It's not because we can't afford it. <laughs> yes. It's our schedule. Only. <laughs> only. Anyhow, thank you very much. Do stay tuned. Now, um, you're lucky today. Do you know why? Why? Because we have breakfast for you. Oh my god. Oh yes, so let me bring you over to the kitchen already.